Hello, my name's Isaac and welcome back to my channel. Yeah! <laughs> Today I'm gonna make some special coasters that a friend requested. So shout out and thank you to the Carches. My friend ordered coasters that used a technique called the chain pull, and personally, I think it's really cool. Let me show you what the coasters look like. Okay, so the chain pull technique makes this really cool design that looks like a flower. So, here's what the purple one looks like. And she said she wanted a bunch of different colors, so I also have one in blue. And pink, and she also said that she wanted green. Let me show you how to make them. Woo! Okay, here we go. Let me show you how to do a chain pull. First, we're gonna put the background color on, and in this case, I'm using white. You don't want it too thick, but you want it to cover the whole tile. Otherwise, it's just gonna look weird when you finish it. And I notice, Isaac, that you're using your fingers for this, so this, probably you need to be well into working on your sensory issues, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. If you can, I guess you could also use a tongue to puzzle or a puzzle stick if you have one. Yeah, or even a paintbrush, probably, right? Whatever works. Yeah, whatever works. Okay, so the whole tile is just about covered. So why don't you finish uh, touching up those little bits, and then we will go to the next step. Time that I got that. Did I get everything? Yeah, it looks like you might need a little bit more paint. It's really hard to tell. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth because the paint will um, shift. It it will and it will settle too. It'll go flatter when you're done. Plus, we're gonna put resin over it at the end after it's dry. Oh, I didn't get you any paper towels, did I? No, you did not. I'll go grab those. One moment, please. Next, I'm going to put the chain down and angle it towards the corner. I uh, look right there. Mm -hmm. Like that, right? Yep, nice job. And then I'm going to hold on the corner and... Well, wait, you got to put your color on. Oh, right. <laughs> you almost forgot the color. And usually you have to put it on the chain or just below the chain because the way the chain will move will drag the paint because that's what mm -hmm. we're doing might want to put a little bit there and it doesn't have to be exact. Right, right there yeah it doesn't have to be exact because you're going to drag that paint down you can dip hang on look before you do that you can dip the actual chain in the color and then lay it down but we find it's a little bit easier to do it this way because if it, you get the chain where you don't want it you can move it yeah All right. and then if you don't get the chain where you want it when it's already dipped in the paint then you're stuck with the paint there <laughs> or you have to scrape it off so wah, wah. so now what are you doing so now i'm holding my fingers on the edge of where i laid the chain over and then i'm just gonna pull and it's gonna make a design Ooh, look at that pretty oh. so i think we could have used a little bit more um paint along the chain yeah to make more of a flower so we're gonna do it again and um and see if we can get more of a flower. Okay. So let me scrape this. I'm and see, this is too. the nice thing about tiles too. You can scrape it off and just redo it. Okay, take two. And maybe you could like have like a little... Um... Ooh, there you go. That looks beautiful. Yeah. Ooh. So I'm gonna turn it so that the camera can see it a little better. Oops, the uh, green bottle got clogged and then that happened. <laughs> it kind of exploded everywhere, eh? Yes. Okay. Well, in the bottle for that, not us. <laughs> so we could scrape it. But we're just going to go with it and here's the hope that it looks good. And if it doesn't look good, then we'll scrape it. <laughs> All right, let's go. One, two, three. Woo! Nice. I like that blue. Ooh, look at that fancy one. Oh. Don't do it too fast because then it'll... 
Oh, that might actually work. Oh, no. No. Not quite. Not quite. Here, clean your fingers off. It I almost did. I will scrape it, and we'll do that one again. Yes. But let me move these two out of the way. Okay, round three. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, that's oh, pretty. Yes. Wipe, yeah. wipe, wipe the blue off your fingers so you don't get blue on the green. I'm only holding the chin. Oh, well. Yeah, you gotta get it on the edge. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll bring really a call, ultimately. Oh, that oh, turned out way better. Nice. Yes. Take number two, success. Take number three. Take number three, well, success. Well, maybe, maybe two. I don't know. I don't know what take. We lost one. track. <laughs> All right. Tell some production. Okay, we're gonna let these dry and resin them, then we'll show you to them and... Show you to them? <laughs> <laughs> we'll show them to you. <laughs> Twisted words. <laughs> yes! I'm all sorts of jumbled today. I hope you try this painting technique at home, and I hope if you do try it that you think it's as fun as I do. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like and subscribe. Peace!